Hey, Rob here, response review. Tupac's last words as he looks up towards the policeman. According to the policeman, blank you. I mean, I you know, I'd rather I'd rather hear the dude say, you know, God forgive me or I forgive, you know, Joe or whatever. And you know, I'm thinking of the last words of the men on both sides of Christ as Christ was crucified. And one man said, you know, he's done nothing wrong. Remember me. And Jesus looks over and basically says, today you'll be with me in paradise. The other rockhead, you know, just the minutes, maybe seconds away from slipping into eternity, basically just, you know, curses God. I mean, you know, I hope Tupac's in heaven. I don't know. You don't know. I'm not his judge. You're not his judge. Only God knows the heart. But, you know, the last words of a person certainly speak very loud and you know, eternity is without measure. By the way, I am a minister of the gospel. You desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. Think about how long eternity is. Eternity is without end. Eternity is not a billion times a billion years. It's without measure. And the reality is, is we will all take our last breath one day. Certainly no one out there has found the fountain of youth. And when we do take our last breath, either the elevator goes up to life insurance, which is heaven, or it goes down to the basement, fire insurance, a place that Jesus Christ taught about in the Bible called hell. Are there demons in hell? Is there fire in hell? Absolutely. Am I trying to scare the hell out of you? Hopefully for some of you. But the reality, the reality friends, is the only way we can be assured that we'll make heaven our home is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And if you've never accepted Christ into your heart, you want to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God loves you. God cares for you. God has a, white, a mighty and a wonderful plan for you. The Bible is very clear about the plan of God. It says in the book of Jeremiah, God has a plan for you, plans for a hope in the future, plans for an expected end. And Christ comes by invitation only. He'll never make you serve him. God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will. So, you know, you can accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. In other words, we're the ones that control the doorknob to our heart. And I promise you this, once you open the door of your heart, the Lord will come in with his love. And I'll leave you with a great scripture in the Bible. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that if you would believe, receive, accept, surrender your life to Jesus, you would never perish. You'd have eternal life. A desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. Thank you so much. Also, under the search, Rob would one <clears throat> many of the ministry videos where I do talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons. Jesus loves your friends. Be blessed.